Hi guys, I've got some changes coming. Hang on and I'll tell you all about it. Well, hey everybody, today is Monday, June 28th. And I know it's been a hot minute since I've been on here. Um, it's hard to describe why I haven't been recording. Um, I have been filming my food. I just uh, haven't had the energy at the end of the day to get it up onto a video. So I guess that's the best way to put it. And to be honest, I haven't been doing that great. I had a gain last week on my way in and um, I'm just really kind of disgusted with myself because I have not been a good example of weight loss this last month. Um, I watched Carrie's video the other day over at Weight Watchers with Carrie. And uh, it's like we were kindred spirits because she talked about how she had gained weight over the last year while her grandkids were visiting. I don't have that excuse. I had no grandkids visiting. And, you know, since I live alone, my life really didn't change much through the pandemic. But I was able to pile back on about 25 pounds that I'm working now really hard to get off. So, um, yesterday we had a church potluck and I went there with every intention of really staying and focusing on plan. And by the time I left the church potluck, I didn't even know how to track the points I consumed yesterday. I will tell you that I made a big pan of chicken paprikash. It was enough to feed the entire church. And uh, there was a lot left. And it's an old Hungarian recipe that my mom made. I mean, we were raised on it and my kids love it. So I thought, well, I've got all this chicken paprikash left. I'm not gonna eat it because uh, it is my intention to really stay focused on the plan. So I took it down to my son's uh, today or yesterday after church, along with a half of cherry pie that was left over. And I even had made a one point cherry cake that I took to the potluck. There was about half of that left over. I didn't even keep that around. I didn't want it near me because I know that I would have eaten the entire thing. So as you can see, I'm still struggling with food addiction and trying to work through that and uh, getting my heart and my mind lined up again with weight loss. I did pretty good today. I'm not, I did record my breakfast. That's as far as I got uh, because, you know, events happened during the day that I wasn't expecting and I ended up eating out twice today. Um, but for breakfast, I had just my standard one egg and two egg whites. It was a five point breakfast. Uh, and what I have with it. Oh, some fruit. I had uh, some banana, blueberry, and strawberries. Uh, a light Thomas English muffin with with uh, some avocado, and of course my fat-free half and half. So it was five points altogether for breakfast. Then for lunch, um, a friend of mine that I help out often and take her to her appointments and you know other places she has to go uh, wanted to take me out for lunch, we went to Denny's. And let me tell you what I had at Denny's. It was the Denny's Fit Slam, and that was 10 points. So that took me up to 15 points out of the 23 that I'm allowed. And then um, since I was out and about, I went over to Michael's today, just for no good reason, just to look around and didn't buy anything, but I called my sister. I said, hey, are you home? I'm gonna step over. And she said, no, actually, we're at Chili's. Well, Chili's is in the same parking lot where Michael's is. And she said, you wanna come over for dinner? You know, at Chili's and meet us? Because she was there with her kids and some of the grandkids. I said, sure. So I went to Chili's and um, at Chili's for dinner, I had the Guiltless Grill Mango Chili Chicken which was 10 points. Now, I did not get the rice that comes with that. And so that would have taken, I think the rice that comes with it is either six points or four points, but it would have taken that point down. I left it at 10 in the tracker because I did eat a couple chips and salsa. So all told today, I had 25 points, which dipped into my weeklies. I'm sure my weeklies are gone anyway. I didn't track yesterday, but after that church dinner, I'm sure my weeklies are gone anyhow. 
so um but 25 points today so you know i dipped into my weeklies just a little bit today um much better than what i have been so my goal is to uh really stay on plan now until friday i have a couple other things coming up this week where i know i'm going to be eating out but I know what I can have at those places. So, um, I'll tell you today was, was not a bad day. It wasn't perfect. I'm not striving for perfection anymore. Um, uh, one of the changes that I'm making that I talked about in the clip earlier is I have decided at least for the time being, I am going to count points only. I'm going to disregard that calorie tracker that I have in my computer and just concentrate on points. When I went back and looked at my historical data, uh, the times when I was most successful in losing weight and losing weight consistently is when I was only counting points. When I started concentrating on calories, even though I think that's a useful thing to track, uh, but when I started concentrating on the calories, over the points, which is what I've been doing. I'm putting more emphasis on calories lately than points. That's when I've had difficulty losing weight or even gaining weight because I've been so fixated on that caloric number. Um, so for the time being, at least for the next few weeks, and we're gonna see how this goes, I'm gonna count points only. Uh, I'm still gonna to try to get in my exercise and uh, as soon as this humidity dies down, I'm gonna start doing some more heavy duty walking. Uh, I have a couple day trips that I want to do, I think anyway, because I'm having a car issue. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, that to go on some short hikes again. So, uh, cause I haven't been, you know, the, the weather has just been so hot and muggy and I don't walk in this weather at all. So, um, anyway, that's, that's the change that I wanted to tell you about. I may not show you all of my food all of the time, uh, going forward, at least for the foreseeable future, because I eat basically the same thing every day. You know, you can pretty much bet that for breakfast, I'm having one of three breakfasts. I'm going to either have my eggs with avocado toast, or I'm going to have oatmeal or, you know, usually on the weekends, I'll make my waffles. Or I'll have yogurt with fruit. That's basically what I eat for breakfast. And it's the same thing. And same with my lunches. I have basically the same thing. I usually have a bowl of yogurt with some fruit. Um, or sometimes I'll have an egg sandwich. Um, and my dinners are the same. It's either turkey or chicken. But it's the, I eat the same meals all the time. And it's I wouldn't have to, but I like them. So... That's what I eat. Uh, I may do one or two what I eat in a day videos a week, but um, I'm not going to concentrate on recording all that food. Now, of course, I'm going to tell you what I'm tracking in my app. Uh, that's that won't change. I will, you know, tell you what how many points I have a day and and what I've tracked. But it's I don't think it's necessary for me to show you unless I'm making something special. Um, or out of the ordinary. Uh, I don't think it's necessary for me to keep showing you what I'm eating. Uh, I do post photos up on my Instagram account, which goes over to my Facebook page. Uh, so you'll be able to see that way. Um, and that's basically the change I wanted to tell you about, the, about the calories, and I'm not going to do as much food showing as what I was, uh, especially in the summertime. So, um, and I threw out my scale goal. I had a number in mind uh, that I'm further away now from it than what I was a few months ago. Matter of fact, I looked at what I weighed two years ago today and it's exactly the same. That's a little disheartening to go back and look at the historical data when I had gotten down lower, you know. So my goal is still losing weight. Of course it is. That's why I'm doing this. Um, but I'm concentrating on losing weight 
the right way now. Uh, I, I need, I'm lining up my, the spiritual aspect of my life with the weight loss and, uh, I'm concentrating on what's important to me and just to keep my mind healthy and my heart healthy, both physically and spiritually. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on right now. And, uh, those are changes I'm going to make. And I, you know, if anything fabulous or disheartening happens, I, you know, I'm going to share it with you. So anyway, that's it. Uh, I, like I said, I have a couple things coming up this week where I'm meeting up with a friend and, uh, we're going to have at least one meal together. And then this weekend I have the annual big 4th of July party shebang where we're grilling out. And I will tell you this, I, um, my niece hosts this at her farm up in Michigan and we always get together. We blow up a lot of fireworks. I don't do any of that blowing up. I left, leave that to the men that actually buy and set up the fireworks. But it's always usually your standard barbecue fare, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, and potato salad, macaroni salad, and this and that, s'mores. Well, I talked to my niece today, said, would you mind if I made up some turkey patties for me to take so that at least I know I'm staying on plan that way? And I'm also taking a fruit salad, you know, of like watermelon and berries. So I, I have that. And I'm actually thinking about making a mock potato salad too. My sister's taking her potato salad, which is to die for. She makes the best potato salad in the world. But in my mind, I'm thinking, I really want to stay on plan. I ordered today from the Smart Baking Company, I ordered some Smart Buns. And I've had these before. I ordered them a couple years ago. Matter of fact, I looked at my order sheet. It was 2018 last time I ordered from them. So um, I bought some uh, of the Smart Bun hamburger buns, which are only one point on all plans. And then I bought some of the Lemon Smart Cakes because I thought that would be a kind of a nice sweet treat for me to have here and not many points. I forget. if I think those are three points, but I'm not sure. Um uh, I'm going to look right now, but anyway, um, so I ordered the smart buns. I hope they're going to be here by the weekend. I'm not sure they'll make it. I just, since I just ordered them today, I did pay extra for the, um, FedEx delivery though. So I'm hoping, yeah, the lemon cakes are one point. That's what I was looking at in the app. So anyway, that's what I did. So I'm making progress and making steps toward making a plan for that picnic. Uh, if I think of anything else that maybe I can do, there's always a veggie tray there. So between the hamburger, I mean, I'm even going to take my reduced sugar ketchup for the, ha the hamburger. So between that and the smart bun, which, you know, I could have a real bun, you know, they're four or five points depending on where you get them. But, uh, between that and the fruit salad and the veggie trays, I think I'll be okay. I could make one of those diet cherry cakes, which is if you count, cut that up into 24 pieces, it's only one point. And that's just simply um, a sugar-free cake mix with sugar-free pie filling that you mix up and you bake it. Boom. <laughs> if you cut it into 12 pieces, I think it's two points. One, I know for sure one point if it's 24 pieces. And it's still a good size piece. So anyway, uh, so at least I'm making a plan to move forward and get back on plan. Uh, and I guess that's going to wrap it up for me today. Anyway, I've missed you guys. <laughs> Sorry I've been gone so long. I've just been trying to figure a lot of things out. And, um, you know, I'm, I, I still am weighing myself every day. I'm going to continue to do that. I need to do that so it keeps me focused. Uh, I know many of you don't and you don't agree with that. But uh, for me, for my psyche, I need to have that daily check. And I understand that my body fluctuates sometimes three or four pounds in a day. But uh, as long as you can wrap your head around that, day, for me, daily weighing is working. 
I mean, I may not like what I see, but at least it's a daily check and I put it in my chart that I have on my computer and I can say, okay, I need to rein this in or, you know, we need to do something different. So anyway, that's where I am. You'll see different surroundings. I'm recording in my kitchen. I moved out my great big huge giant table that I didn't even fit at. I, and uh, I have a smaller table in here now that fits much better in my kitchen. I can sit here in the morning, have my coffee and watch the birds at the bird feeder. So I'm really happy about that. So this is where I do my Bible study in the morning. It's working out really well for me because I can actually sit at a table and feel like I'm not this little midget sitting there. Because that the table that I had in here was a very long, it, it took up the whole width of my wall here, it was a very long um, high top table and came up with high top chairs. And I just, I felt like this itty bitty little person sitting there because you know, I'm only five foot two. So um, I feel much better here and it's, it's much cozier. Anyway, so new surroundings, rather than looking at my living room wall all the time, you see my kitchen now a little brighter. There's, there's my Swiffer in the back over here. <laughs> the kids came when they were home last weekend, they cleaned my apartment and it looks so much nicer than what I ever kept it. <laughs> so we do, we did have some great times. Uh, if I think of it, maybe in my next video, I'll throw up some pictures that we took. Uh, while they were home, but I ended up not taking very many pictures here. I thought I was going to be taking pictures all the time and I ended up not taking very many at all. The shower was a great success. We had a great time. I, I missed them all already. So of course they've been gone now for a week. So, all right, that's going to do it for me. It's, you know, almost midnight while I'm getting this up. So you guys have a great night and I hope that you'll stick with me during this, I'm, I'm really uh, trying to reset here and get uh, back on plan and get back in losing mode again. And uh, I know that I can do it, but I know I can't do it without your support. So have a great night. I will try to be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.